right question number five is a simple looking question based on equations however if you go about and try to see uh, if you try to open this brackets and try to square it it's going to become a mess you're not supposed to open the brackets and square it you need to you need to observe some of the simple facts in this you have a perfect square being added to another perfect square giving the answer as zero now the only way in which two perfect squares can add up to become zero especially when they are all real numbers is when they are both individually zero. So you have 4a plus 3b minus 46 is equal to zero. So this becomes plus 40 uh, is equal to plus 46 and you'll get 5a minus 8b equal to minus 13. So you're supposed to use a and b. You have another value, uh, you know, equation given here, uh, given here, 6a equal to 7b. You might choose to use it or you can ignore it depending upon, um, you know, how you want to solve. But basically, two equations, two unknowns, you'll get the value of a and b very simply from this. So you can multiply this by 5, multiply this by 4. So you'll get 20a plus 15b equal to 5, 4 is a 200, 6 is a 30. So 230. Then you have 20a minus 32b is equal to 40, 4 is a 12, 52, minus 52. Now I can subtract them. So this gets cancelled 30, 40, 47 B is equal to uh, 282 or B equal to 282 by 47. Let's see how many times it goes 47 into 6 7s of 42, 6 of 24, 28. Yes. So 47 goes 6 times. So B is 6. If B is 6, then what is A? A should be 7 because we have this 6 A equal to 7 B. So you need two times of A, which is 14 minus B, which is 6 by 4. So 14 minus 6 is 8, 8 by 4, which is 2. And that is your answer. It's not a difficult question. It would become difficult if you don't observe this and you start solving, uh, you know, as a quadratic equation that becomes messy.